So what started this topic and was the reason I made this video is because I deal with this practically all my life and it's the same thing. It was the middle of the night and I'm looking back at the good old times telling stories and stuff. <clears throat> so it was towards 3 a.m. I messaged one of my old friends uh, I've known since like 2005 and I asked him like, hey, what happened to this other guy we used to know all these years ago? How's he doing? And that I've never had time to talk to anybody and I try to get back to everybody the best I can. And this was someone I've known all these years. He was the owner of the backyard with the 30 acres of land where I got to ride ATV trails all the time with amazing pictures of nature and wildlife. I knew this guy in Scouts. Like I went to elementary school with this guy. Like I I've known this person for years. Normally if I message people at this hour, including this guy, it's usually not a big deal. They'll ignore it and then they get back to me when they wake up and have time and they move on like nothing happened. So I woke up to this message that said, okay, the last thing I need is a message at 3 a.m. waking my ass up, and then they block me before I can even say anything. And what didn't make sense about this is, okay, cool, if I sent it in the middle of the night, why did you wait till like 8 a.m. when you woke up to tell me that and block me? Like, that just doesn't make sense. <clears throat> like, normally, if people aren't happy with that, they'll message me saying, hey, do you mind? I'm trying to sleep. You know, like I, I've been doing this for years and never had any problems. For me, I get people messaging me late at night all the time, but that's just because I'm a night shift person. I was working nights before I had to quit the job for family emergencies. But even then, I get messages during times I need sleep, but I don't throw a hissy fit about it. Most of the time I have my phone turned off. So this is why I'm saying like, people are just getting weird. And I notice stuff like this also tends to happen when you're at a life where you don't know what's going on, you're trying to seek for help or just overall someone to talk to. For example, when I was rejected in Boston 30 times for bartending, like I talked about in my other videos. So there was a time like I just kept being rejected and rejected and rejected. And I had experience in Miami Beach. I had experience at a catering. I studied cocktails. I did this, I did that. But when it comes to like Boston and Maine, I just can't figure it out. Like I was losing my mind. I was just messaging other people like, what is it that I could be doing wrong? Or why does this keep happening? Most of these people were like, well, I don't tell you. And these are the same type of people that post on Facebook and say things like, I know that feeling when like, we have the worst times ever and we need someone to talk to. I'm always here. You know, you just see all that action faking bullshit. And so when I message people again saying like, okay, I think I got to figure it out. And the people will just be like, I don't care. Stop messaging me. And then they like unfriend and block you. And I'm like, good. Get the fuck out of here. It's at that moment I forget about what I'm sad about and see that these people are so fake and so unsupportive. And that to me is just like, good. Fuck out of here. One less fake friend. I have been my authentic self since I was growing up in the coast of Maine and I have never Never changed that character or for anything and I'm just being me and I'm doing me and I'm socializing you know the people that we've been all these years before smartphones and social media took over and apparently I'm annoying to these people I get comments like I'm annoying I get comments like I'm arrogant I'm an asshole or I'm irritating or that needy motherfucker or whatever but the thing is I haven't changed my personality these people have like I don't even know who these people are compared to what they used to be be. And apparently, I'm annoying. I'm an asshole. I'm selfish. I'm a loser. And it's at that moment where I'm like, you know what? It's better to be alone than be with someone who makes you feel alone. When I look back at what my life was like 16 years ago when I was in high school, it was such a different time. Like, I would hop on my bicycle and ride to school down the hill, cross the bridge in Androscoggin, and hang out at the convenience store, get a beverage, sip on the beverage, talking to the townspeople about life and what we do day by day, ride my bike to the school having adventures and doing tricks on the way, get into the high school, meeting up with old friends, talking about what we did yesterday, the day before, or the weekend, or what we're gonna do tonight, or this weekend, our plans for summer. 
and overall life was simple. <clears throat> like we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have social media taking us over, we didn't have TikTok. We overall just had us and friends. Like we had flip phones that were just used for calling and texting. Like when we're talking and meeting up people, we didn't like stare at our phones because we didn't have those features back then. So I remember we used to socialize, we used to <clears throat> text all day long, punching number, 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 and punching this and that. Or most of us would just call to say what we need to say in 30 seconds. We used to post about the stuff on Facebook, like a picture or what we did on the day. Like back in the day, we used to just go on Facebook and talk about what we did for the day and people used to like that, but that's not a thing anymore. <clears throat> but overall, like back in the day, we were all social and we got along and always hung out in groups, riding bicycles, just overall enjoying life. Just like those memes you see. I fast forward today, that's not a thing anymore. Like social media and smartphones have just taken over all of us. Like, like I've been mentioning in the beginning, like people tend to get angry with you easily. They tend to not like socializing too much. They think that socializing is annoying. They have that anti-social joke because that people are rats. Like they come out to get food and they run when people see us. And it's really sad. Like it's been worse after COVID-19. So in these situations, what do you do? Well, I'll tell you exactly what I did. I got busy on learning and growing and becoming the best version of myself. It's all about discovering yourself, figuring out what you want in your life and maximizing your capacity and never stop learning. I experienced this all my life. At 24, when everyone started like pulling away towards me and just saying all these rude comments and stuff about me, I did some deep reflections and decided to say, you know what? enough is enough. I'm done being a third wheel. I'm done being disrespected. I'm done being the odd man out. I'm done being ignored while I'm talking or people talking to me while I'm talking. And it's reached to like the breaking point and I had enough. So what I did was I got focused on guitar, going to the gym and moving forward for my future and starting a business. I created a schedule and a plan to do this. I worked 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. stocking shelves at the grocery store, and I had a huge gap in the morning to get things done. I'd wake up at 8 a.m., same time every day, without an alarm clock. I'd drive down to the convenience store, get a beverage real quick, come home, play the guitar, learn a new song, play new songs, and not playing the same thing over and over. Overall, playing something new every second I have, and I would do that for about an hour and a half or so. And once 10.30 a.m. hits, boom, I stop what I'm doing, I get my gym bag, I head to the gym, I work out for 45 minutes or so, take a quick shower, look fresh and clean, drive down to Chipotle, have a quick bowl, and then start my shift at work. And that was that. And I just did that day by day, day by day, because... I stayed committed to what I wanted in my life because I was sick and tired of the same old fucking shit. And before I knew it, I was a stallion. I was really slim fit, really good looking, real lean and fit, playing guitar all the time. And I women were chasing me all the fucking time. It's kind of like that scene on South Park where David Hasselhoff has that face on uh, Mr. Garrison when he had the plastic surgery and then like, all the women were chasing him and he tries going inside a door with all the women still trying to get in. And he's like, <laughs> it was literally like that with me. I'd be in the bathroom like, what is happening? Cause you know, it's such a fast change and you're not used to it, but that's another topic. So what you do is Figure out what it is you want, become the strongest version of yourself, stay dedicated and committed into doing it, and create a schedule that works out for you. If your job doesn't fit your schedule what you want, quit that job and get another one. If this doesn't match your schedule, change the time. If you can't figure it out, read a book. You know, take action. And soon in the long run, you will start to meet new people. But you want to meet people that have the same common goals and values and same ideas as you have. Because when I was famous in 2019, making my uh, motivational speech saying how great the year was, that video went viral from around the world. Like five minutes later, a person message saying, Wow, you live in San Diego? No way, I do too. I saw your video. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> I remember I had a total of like 600 people from 50 countries around the world messaging me, always wanting to hear my speech and liking everything I post. I was basically like Jesus to these people. 
And just like any other New Year resolution, January 8th, that doesn't mean anything. I remember January 8th, I'd say about 67% of them were already gone and forgot about me. I was making other videos at the time, making motivational stuff. It was actually the reason I stopped making these videos was because nobody did anything that I talk about in them for starters. And they're overall kind of like sheep in a cult where like they obey and do everything I say and click like without asking any questions, basically kissing my ass. Those are not people I want. And all those people were gone by March. Same thing happened a year and a half ago, 700, all were gone. It's not long-term. So what you want to do is stay dedicated to what you want in your life. Figure it out, create a schedule like I did years ago. And you will earn friendships based on your common goals and your common value. Clearly the values of your old friends and the people that you once talked to don't match up with your values and that's why they're rejecting you and having those kind of attitudes towards you. Either that or they're just miserable people.